Beekeeping has become so unnatural. It is amazing. We have changed practically everything in commercial beekeeping. We have altered the conditions. We have exploited them. We are using them to such an extent that uh, their vitality and health has decreased rapidly. The monocultures with all the pesticides, insecticides, fungicides, herbicides are a problem. Side, like in suicide and homicide, means death. So we have an agriculture working with death in, a, in an area where we should be respecting the laws of life. The paradigm shift that is starting out where we are at, where we want to control the world and extract as much out of the plant and the animal and the other fellow human being as much as possible, to one of care and stewardship, of understanding the other being and serving their needs. This is what the honeybee is asking us, and the crisis is a great opportunity for change. My name is Gunther Hauck. I am the co-founder of Spikenut Farm Honeybee Sanctuary. I have been a beekeeper and organic biodynamic farmer for 35 years and have used sustainable beekeeping methods for that time with great success. I have never had fowl brood without using any medication at all, and I have never experienced colony collapse disorder. As a matter of fact, my winter losses are very slight. I have healthy bees with a strong immune system since 1996, I have been giving workshops all over the United States and also Canada and have been inspiring people to take up sustainable beekeeping methods for the sake of the honeybees. And the response has been very well. There are pockets all over the United States where people are practicing these methods very successfully. In 2002, my book, Toward Saving the Honeybee, was published and it has been republished in 2008. And in that book, I do predict the calamity we are in, the big crisis we are in with the colony collapse disorder, without naming it, of course, at that time. Uh, one could see the writing on the wall a long time before. We are planning to make a DVD so that even more people can receive that knowledge and turn around uh, the beekeeping methods that are very invasive now and uh, running down our honeybee into the ground, so to say. A DVD like that could give many people the empowerment and the means and the understanding why to change certain ways. I think this will be a great benefit for the beekeeping society, for small beekeepers, for hobby beekeepers. The big professionals will have a harder time because their whole infrastructure is geared to high production. But nevertheless, that is a grassroots movement and from there we take it and the larger beekeepers will eventually be forced into different ways of keeping their bees if we want to keep the bees. If the honeybees die out, of course, Einstein is supposed to have said, we have four more years to go as, as a human beings on Earth. I could say, well, we might have 20 or 100 years to go, but definitely life would cease on Earth without the stinging insects. That's how important they are. 
There are many problems facing the bees in our days, but each of the problems has a solution. I would like you to make a pledge for this project so that we can get the DVD out to many people, beginning beekeepers, experienced beekeepers, as soon as possible, because the crisis is upon us and needs reversal as quickly as possible.